Hi there, I'm Grey Hunter. Today we're going to have a look at Arms Race 2, which is a turn-based strategy game set during the Cold War. So, game started zero, so we're going to start a new game. And it's probably best to go with the guys who historically won, and the USA. We can say both. Okay, each faction has the option to choose a leader, and cabinet not But who's going to be our leader? You know what? What's the benefits? Air, ground and navy firepower, so Truman's all about fighting. Kennedy's about going to space. Nixon's about spying. And Reagan is about increased global consequence points. I don't know. Honestly, let's go for Truman. Uh, bonus conservative government and only... Ah, so this gives you military technology cost reduction. Which is linking quite well. Yeah, we'll go conservative bonus. We've got missions here which are space race, good scores and keep the enemy. We'll leave this on easy because I have not played this yet, so. So we need to get Achieve the space. Right. This is a red versus blue competitive game. To win the game, you should defeat the other side before the year 2000. You do by either three options. Pledge your alliance. Every region map has a score. Once the region has joined your alliance, you gain score. Highest alliance score is winner. Kill another faction. You win over another faction. Change its position to a regime. You keep to ash. Okay. So there is the option to just go with boot. With the Grand Campaign, you can pass various campaign missions in different games, different settings. Every decade starts from an election. There's your cabinet ministers. Okay. Elections take place every decade, 10 years, and beginning in January. You choose one minister per each sector, diplomacy, military, and economy. All three ministers must support the same presidents and all prime minister. Each minister represents a conservative or liberal party. Once you use three ministers, you press vote. Okay. So these guys are all supporting Truman. And this is for Ah yes, so Plus on Globe Consequences, Globe in Alliance. Well, we'll give the consequences, shall we? Eisenhower is firepower. I like the idea of an early technology thing, because hopefully we're not going to do much fighting to begin with. And McCarthy here just gives you more firepower, uh, more budget, and uh, money and education. Okay, that'll get us our thing, so, vote. Right, so. We have about 50% nuclear supremacy. We've got a good amount of uh, like 50% influence. No firepower bonus. Score of 22. Global consequences, United Nations points, political action points, and a G GMP. And then of course on the other side, they've got half of it. Their budget is roughly the same. So yeah, it looks like it stands fairly even. They've got a slightly increased score. Let's see what we can do about that. So, there's our tax. 1950. Contracts can be established between your alliance parties and mutual allegiance. Is one region each side uh, for each for a different map military or spy for unit production. One political point requires to start a contract or building a profitable project. Then under every turn from your budget, once it's complete, every region of the contract to one game score. One unit production search map. Okay. So the USA and say West Germany. 
can start building military defense contract for 192. So, ah, it's the mouse. Okay. Military technologies. Three types of technology. Air, ground, and navy. To be able to invest in each kind, specifically technology or military production, use the budget section allows each kind of technology firepower. So we've got a patent tank. We try and get an M13. Better nukes. Mm. How many have we got? And there. Uh, right, space technologies. Increases global online symptoms. Faction discovers technology or builds facilities faster and enough of is rewarded with a higher amount of influence. The higher technology launches and increases global influence. Revolution the globe. The low ones offer influence in your line. Each facility reduces cost of launches by 1%. Use budget to invest in space race investment. Okay, so yeah, fine. I'd use my two guys for the turn. Yeah, that's fine. Diplomacy. Sort by region scores. India. We can influence India. We apparently got quite a good high score. influence using diplomats. So there we go. How many of these can I do a turn? How many diplomats? I'll use my probably use my only political action point. I could use adding military units. What's the opposition? Opposition is only 30. Central Africa, Ireland, Greece. Yeah, a lot of these places are quite low on the list. Italy could be a good one. Ah, spy network. Well, obviously, we'd like to increase our spy network. In chat in Soviet. See what happens about killing them. Oh, so civil war ain't going to do as much good. United Nations. You receive United Nations points for different actions during the game. Actions are listed on the left side of you and one down. You have enough points you can conduct different resolutions. Okay. Looks like we can't do much here. Because we haven't got any points and stuff like that, no resolutions, that's fine. Invest global points into global consequences by clicking this GPC card and the button with the green plus. With two GPs annually, some leaders and ministers can provide you an extra GP. Once a cycle has a full amount, the GPC card will event happen. It may change randomly every time a war starts. So at the moment, we're looking at these here. Let's whack some points into new wave tip in the air. We'll start supporting the Vietnam War. And the Hungarian Alliance. Those sound like good options. See our jovial influence in the top. Those actions are gains will help you increase the global influence and scores. Don't control the equals increase of political points. Get three political points annually. You spend them by budget by increasing tax. And I've already spent these, haven't I? Yeah, I've already spent my points for the turn. Perhaps in service 
Contract's been established. I'm going to go check again. So I'm spending some of my budget. I think that's all I can do for this turn. So, yes. We are making a move for India. And hopefully, there's a payout. Can it be in there? Huh? The official government of Korea, our Korean wars just kicked off. Citizens openly show their support for the local Communist Party. Soviet Trumps and enter support the local government. Uh, North Korea is being supported. We need to support South Korea, obviously. Increase their military presence. American troops enter the country and support the local government. Okay, I have no idea how the world war works in this. And the music's got all epic, hasn't it? It's better spy into China. Right, so that West Germany's building is the only thing we can do for a while. That's still selected China. So we're getting support zone and we text advancing elements. Got it. So we've got a southern brewing here, which is north of South Korea. I've used up that but I've got nation points. Around. It's like a slide in there. We can increase our military presence in there to maximum. We'll go back to supporting trying to take India. India's at seven now. Pop a spy in there as well. We've got 90 patient points, but I don't really know how to spend them. I'm mainly clicking our buttons as you guess, but yeah, it's fine. Green walls kicked off. Worth a point. Let's see what happens here. Yep, they want uh, official support. Can't give you any more military support, apparently. Initiate civil war. Mm. Let's keep pushing up that. Got men in both North and South Korea, so let's see what we're doing. Alright, more flight turns. So it looks like the turns are supposed to go relatively quick. The stuff's building up relatively fast.
It's like we'll just continue to build up points. Oh, I built between top bottom. Let's tell who's winning. Let's throw a few more troops in there and see what we're doing. Civil War. <coughs> Civil War going. And then we're going to spend. We just need to spend our point here to get more influence. Let's see about getting Yugoslavia on our side as well. So they've got a massive, massive influence in Yugoslavia. So, looks like it should be getting to in a bit more by Guinea. The war's continuing. We're providing military support to revolutionaries. Which we'll continue to do. Looks like it's doing okay. So, typical points, typical consequences. <laughs> yeah, points are coming in. Oh, so I've got to get enough points to be able to spend that. Uh, that makes sense. Into China is still a thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Got a spy in there. And I'm out of spies now. Or different months, anyway. Soviet troops are in the area. Private communion movements among the young people must accept its cultural values. Pushing heaven to spies and stuff like that, and you some space. And a bit of construction. How long have we got left on my like, defensive thing in West Germany? A while. Yeah, so North Korea's got some massive support. General, right, continuing of support. I have no idea how to judge how the war's going there. Okay, so we've got some spies up around. Start adding a few more spies to try and keep South Korea safe. I feel like that's fairly important. North Korea is basically think fighting its things now. Let's pop another spy in there. I don't really know what them but.
So we've got some tech upgrades there. Not everyone's in nukes at the moment. Did we just have a tech breakthrough? Yeah, I'm fine being that wrong. Alright, that's moving on, that's not too bad. Jaws Cake Gravel. So, that's something at least. India's up to nine, that's something good. Don't want to keep increasing the number of troops there. But I'll, I'll focus on India because it's worth four points since she's not part of the. They're not part of the. I'll just call it the country as she. Continuing to see fighting. Ooh. Looks like I've got some political points. Let's continue to boost the new way for India. Twenty-three of those. So they've got Dominion Global Influence and Game Store. I have to work on that. Still learning though. Right, their budget's growing faster. Get some research going on everything. Right. The one political point. I don't have any political action points, so that's fine. That'd be nice if I could. Okay, so that's something I have to mess around with. GDP. Growing construction is going on. That sounded dramatic. India's How are we doing with spies in Korea? Maybe about to win the spy race. <laughs> okay. The Berlin airlift just got nuked by them. Ooh, and they went for the communism. Right. And maybe I should have supported the Berlin airlift. They've got two of those things already. Getting support for into China, but yeah, but maybe I should support the boom airlift. And looks like there's going to be revolution in there. Give them another spy. Give them another spy. Can't give you any more support. Working on the end one, the pattern's in place. Construction's got a few more turns. I feel like it already messed up. At 29. I can go for peace geeking at 50. Oh, they're at 44. I 
to your spy race here. We're losing troops heavily. That's reinforce. Okay. Somehow I managed to get to the uh, battle screen there. Oh, okay. Firepower bands. The subscreens. The subscreens. Even here. That's just showing my bosses. Okay, um, did I just accidentally increase my own loyalty? To increase opposition. I spent a political point on that or something. Right. Don't want to send troops there. My budget's dropping a little bit, but we can't be too far off finishing off the uh, West Germany. Okay, people are making troops enter the country to support the local government. How are we doing in the new land? They're quite heavily committed to India. Hungarian Revolution got some points. Apparently I'm being that guy who's pushing up there. Oh, yay! Got an achievement. Cooperative industrialization problem. Which out. Now I get two more points. I do like how Operation Unthinkable is actually an option. Let's throw more politics into these two. USA and now let's do the UK and South Korea. I've got some political points there. Right, let's go down to India. Music knows what it's about. Let's put one, put two into increasing our revenue. Because that's how we're going to win this war. We've got two political action points. Maybe I should have had that spare. Oh, can you just move into Popped up. They've got cooperative with into China. Support South Korea a bit more. This war's going to drag on. But now I feel like we just sort of keep pushing in the cash. And D52. Just the war continues. We're taking casualties. We're losing in North Korea as well. We're holding itself. Okay. 
And you got so many troops you can send in there. Don't want to lose North Korea. South Korea, so. Getting close to being able to actually bring in a resolution of some sort. Yeah, bringing lots of troops. Keep sending troops into south. What was that noise? Something just happened in South Korea. I'd love to know what this pop up means. Yeah, we've been wiped out in North Korea. Right, we've got some more political points. It's January 1943. Means we can think about some more industrial contracts. more military development. Yeah, we'll push, push them all to military development this time. Yes, I... Okay. Keep pushing people in. Support Communist Party. Benelux. Um, hmm. Benelux on here. Don't want to send troops. This uh, let's top up the number of neutral troops. Here. I'm a little bit worried about losing. Right, I've got forty-six. Okay. Uh, East Africa just had a massive collapse. Here. Yeah. Alright, they've got more firepower because they've got better tech. They've got firepower bonus. South Africa is a crisis, we can send some of our troops there. Increase our loyalty. Right, global consequence points are increasing. Let's push heavily and get Massive boost to influence in India. New turn. Let's go full in on the new wave in India. I don't want to trigger the Vietnam War too early. Peacekeeping. In South Korea. Did we just get peacekeeping in South Korea? I went the wrong troops. It's swinging quite heavily in their way, doesn't it? <sighs> right, so North Korea and Egypt. Yeah. Troops left.
Bisschen Loyalty. Right, I've got a bit better dominance than you can supremacy now. At least one of those things is going right. Can okay, invest everyone into my budget. This time. Hopefully we'll get India on the side. 1954, Korean War. Slowly going in our favour. New superior type of military unit was designed for the Soviet Union. We're getting close to the end of the the gearing and the Huey, so we are about to kick off in tech. Just to continue to support. Would you like to support those who don't press? Yes. I've got the budget for that. My influence is about even. The peacekeeping thing seems to have worked. We are definitely pushing back on the end. Um, Let's hold some troops off. We seem to be winning with what we've got. A new wave for India has just kicked off. That's great. More budget. Um, First influence. We weren't asked about what happened in Berlin. They're uh, winning on the space race. And they've just tested a new nuclear weapon. Just swung everything back on. Alright. Spend those guys on that. Got some global consequences. They are pushing on, I think. Knock them down. I don't want to think of them. They're pushing on the Hungarian Revolution as well. I should probably think about that. It's a massive influence in the USA for them. Yeah, we've got the M113, the gearing, last destroyer. Cape Canaveral is up. Now, equal in game stores and nukes. Okay. How is it looking in India? to 38 support for us, which is growing. How are we doing South Korea? We seem to have won the Southern Korean fight. Hopefully the war will end at some point. Yep, India's liking democracy. Ooh, Venezuela's just became more important. Need more diplomats. You can't remove diplomats, so that's the interesting thing.
Right, we do diplomatic one here. I need political points. So I've got to wait till the end of the turn. I'm collecting. This is collecting. This is collecting. Sorry, just launched it better. Yeah, there are two for space and land. We got better land. But they're winning in that. That's fine. Government riots. Liberal terrorists. No. Is that for good lights? No. Uh, actually, they've got a bit more influence. I probably should have gone, yes. Right, two more political support points. Let's push on the Vietnam War. Apparently I'm that type of monster. I got political points, so let's get the um, French, Japanese spy diplomatic contract. Start building some more diplomats. leave one because I don't want to keep spending them straight away. Uh, uh. Major cities in Yugoslavia. Yeah, they're pushing hard in Norway as well. Right, I've been focusing on India though. You just got to get quite not to like him quite a bit. Thirty-eight percent. I haven't produced any different hats, so anti-government riots. Oh, they got massive amounts of influence. I think I've been sleeping on that. Hey, this V2 launch. <laughs> That's been that political point in getting more into the space race. Next time I get some, I want to increase spy production, diplomat production, because that's where I think I've gone wrong. Why are they getting so many UN points? They are so far back, they're so close behind me. They literally, they've just got their spacesuits as well. We're not too far behind on the spacesuit. to them in the Hungarian Revolution. Oh, I should count them in Operation Thinkable. They counted me there. Okay, astronauts training has begun. I'm a little bit worried that like, Operation Thinkable is going to kick off. Because they are pushing hard into that.
Might be using better weapons. Their attack is going high. Political power. Try and build up some more diplomats. You also have representatives that suggest constructive ideas for peace and prosperity. Uh, in North Korea, there's at least some riots going on. India has continued to increase its influence. Vietnam War is about to kick off. Right, January. I'm going to bring down the rate of unthinkable. Oh, plenty of spies. to stop Yugoslavia from falling. Right. Let's pop some sort of spies in most of these places. I'm gonna get the Vietnam War any turn now though, unless they completely counter it. Which they have. 1958 though. Yeah, things are pushing on. Soviet space station. It's gone. Oh, so places get more important as you come on. How's India diplomacy going? The 38. Being outstripped in GDP. Got some political points to spend there. Spend it all in trying to get more diplomats. I'd like to know what the uh, Venezuela that sent some troops, got loads of troops. I just fill that as well with soldiers. I think I've lost the diplomacy. I've got another diplomat I can send into. Yeah. Alright, Explorer 1 just got launched. That's war. Hopefully you can support the government. We've got troops in Venezuela, they don't. Although the influence is massively in their factor, so yeah, I'm properly cold war in this. Alright, another diplomat. Increase continue on with India. One to slow down unthinkable, one to push up the Vietnam War, because the Vietnam War only needs another point. And the Vietnam War kicks in. 90th position in the China, plus 10 firepower for me. Let's drop a load of troops in, a spy and a diplomat. Got more political points coming in. Let's increase our revenue, we're dropping a little behind. Right. The war in Venezuela continues. I 
Venezuela and there's war in Indochina the revenue issues a new democratic government Indochina was mine thanks for the applause game thanks for the good plugs um, but they got the Yugoslavia so yeah not much changes Italy could be swayed quite nicely Maybe next time I get some diplomats, I should push onto Italy. And Austria. Also looks like it could be brought onto the fold. Got quite a few UN points now. I'm gonna hold off them, because I feel like they've they've just spent theirs. How are we doing on the whole events? Oh, Fake couple's gonna kick off. All democratic allied countries are gonna get huge amounts. I mean it's September, there's a chance we're moving to the next one. Right, got no political points. India is slowly coming off to my side. Sputnik just got launched. Can I not send anyone else into um, Venezuela? Apparently not. Venezuela is the current hot battle ground. Yeah, Soviets has any troops in. Currently five powers more on my side. How's the military tech going? Yeah, we're moving up the military tech quite nice. I need a political points to start another thing. Let's continue to sway. Right, it's the election. Liberals, do I get my I only get my bonus if I have someone in every one? Okay, that's not bad. Trust you military a year sounds great. And homeland plus fifty budget it costs well. Pass the civil reforms. What's on negative on one random globe bonuses? Ah. Apparently I've just entered. Oh, okay. Why can't I vote? Enough people, cabinet ministers, general secretary. Everyone's conservative. Okay. Do I need to match? Oh, you need to match the president. So if I want Kennedy, I can't get Kennedy because there's no secretary of Minister of Foreign Affairs to support him. 
I will lose my bone in this block again. Alright, Smith will go in there. Him. And then I could vote to put in this guy, Sam Truman. First base suit. Wars continuing. Not going very well, to be honest. Let's throw some different bats around. India is going pretty well. It's 1960, which means we've probably got some new global consequences. Oh, we have. More influence in there. But they could lead the alliance. We get Czechoslovakia out of the Soviet alliance. Central America. That reduce that. And the Berlin crisis. Increases opposition. I like the idea of a Prague Spring, so we're going to invest one in there, we're going to go one for the Berlin crisis. We're going to go heavy into tech for this one. Continuing. Something big just happened. Alright. Anti government rights in there. Hmm. South Korea at least looks peaceful. The United Nations. Well, your phone influence higher than yours. Oh, yeah, that'd be quite nice. One gate global influence point in every region in the world. Ooh, we're saving for the Great Speech. India is creeping up, which is great. Support the government. We just sent a chimp into space. South Korea is still voting good. Benelux is now supporting us quite heavily. That's good. Move Italy up as well. We start bringing more of Europe into NATO. That would be great. How did you spend in your growth of consequences? You are completely spending into the air. Uh, the old Berlin crisis. I need to counter that next time. Okay, anti government riots. And Bolivia might go communist. It's just saying we can do stuff. We could intervene. Greece. Finland, Morocco, Egypt. Okay. We're going to stay out of that. Hmm. There's war in Bolivia. We got a lot of troops. Let's send troops into Bolivia. Right, what was that? The Venezuela war continues. Bolivia, we might be able to kind of support. Government. LG 
Nigeria? Yes. We're getting closer to our hundred in the Great Speech. Built up a nice couple of diplomats. Yeah, it's going pretty good for us in Italy. Benelux. Well, I've just seen the type. Alright, so yeah, this is Andres 2, which I find really intriguing. Just noticed though that they got the building crisis. So, yeah, West Germany is going to need some more troops. I think there's always something to click on here. Always pushing and pulling. I'm, I'm liking this. I'm definitely coming back to it. So, if you enjoyed it, if you could leave me a like and maybe even subscribe. Closing in 3,000 and I hope to get there. So I'll see you all next time.